Hi, I'm Tim Yardley. Welcome to the TSIPG Power Systems Testbed. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the equipment that we have here and, uh, and how we use it uh, in our lab. So I'm going to start off with talking about this. This is our real-time digital simulator. It allows us to do high fidelity power simulation to actually mimic what happens in the real power grid in our contained environment in the lab. The unique thing about it is it's, it has high fidelity, so we can do 50 microsecond uh, simulation with it and link that with real hardware in the loop. We can also bring that into our simulation and emulation systems and, and actually uh, connect these in an in a end-to-end -end way with the rest of the equipment that I'll show you. If we move to the right here a bit, we have some equipment that is a digital nuclear reactor controller. It's one of the few devices that are certified in the, in the world to do nuclear reaction control. We actually have that linked up with, uh, with a simulation of a boiling water reactor, and we actually have these two controlling each other. This is just one type of, of gear that we use here for um, cybersecurity analysis and, and, uh, and other uh, demonstration and exploration in the space of, of uh, power systems. Moving to the right, we have um, machines that we use for varying different projects and resources, everything from virtualization through, through PMU testing and, and AMI uh, uh, intrusion detection systems. We have substation computers, uh, test harnesses, and other suites, including devices that we've uh, built ourselves, like Amalyzer, that we have deployed in the field monitoring meters uh, for, for intrusions. We have all sorts of relays and other substation computers and GPS clocks that are in the room. We even do GPS spoofing to be able to look at the effects of, of uh, spoofed P uh, GPS time signals to, to the devices and the impact of that on the grid. We do work in supply chain and other aspects, and we have varying different vendors that, that we have in here. These are from GE, and a lot of the blue equipment you see, that's from Schweitzer Engineering. Um, we also have things like real-time automation controllers and, and, uh, and various other uh, uh, devices. So this is the Orion uh, LX from uh, Novatech. Um, we also have a real-time automation controller that's in, a, in another chassis that I'll, that I'll show you in a bit. All sorts of other PMUs and, and uh, other relays of varying different types that allow us to do the type of work we're doing. Um, in addition to that, we have things like security gateways. That's like the Lemnos project from DOE that have been uh, realized in a product. This is the SEL 3620. Um, and those are all linked up in varying different ways in our lab that allows our researchers to really explore the aspects of the power grid and, and work with it. So lots of equipment, um, but you notice I didn't say substation A, substation B, et cetera. The reason for that is we have dynamic configuration of everything in the lab to set up uh, our, our uh, experiments in varying ways for the researchers and put those in a contained secure environment so that their research is only their research and it doesn't affect anyone else's. When those resources aren't used, they're freed and made available to the rest of the systems. And that's done by this cluster of machines over here that provides uh, computation and other gear for us, all in a dynamic and configurable way. So this is our TSIPG training lab, and what this allows us to do is hands-on SCADA security assessment using ethical approaches and, and uh, tailored to the environment of industrial control systems. It's a portable environment for us, and we actually have uh, another portable environment uh, below that we use uh, in a smaller contained environment, but we can run about six teams through a, through a virtual system here. We also have various other uh, gear that we've set up for software-defined networking and, and dynamic systems uh, to look at the effect of, of uh, attacks on closed-loop control and, and responses and mitigations to that. So here I mentioned uh, that we have GPS spoofing. This is some of our gear from National Instruments that allows us to actually simulate satellites and, and look at the effect of that on the rest of the equipment. We also have work that we've looked at in terms of, of mitigation of, of cutting edge exploits, bridging the air gap, for instance. So we use systems like this to tap into software defined networking to look at the impacts of, of uh, these violations and controlling local area network policies using things like OpenFlow in, in a next generation architecture. We also have various different firewalls and routers and, and other equipment that we use. We use that equipment uh, as part of, of policy violation analysis and, and, uh, and flow analysis associated with network communications. And these systems down at the bottom help us with that as well. So we also have a full advanced metering infrastructure that we use. So this is the same types of smart meters that are being deployed out in the field. Um, this is ITRON's architecture, and we use that for some advanced research in the lab. But obviously, these are commercial um, systems, and it's hard to actually do research on those. So we actually built our own smart meter research uh, platform as well that has all of the same act actions associated with a real meter 
but is in an environment of which you can modify and control it. So we built this from the ground up, designed it, et cetera, and we hope to release that actually to other researchers that will make them better. We have some network and simulation and, and power simulation at the bottom as well that helps us model things at scale and, and, uh, and look at connected systems and their impact. So now you've seen some of the systems that we use here for our advanced research. This work allows us to do cyber physical testing, cyber physical simulation, and more importantly, to look at the cybersecurity impacts on these, on these systems. We use this for cutting edge research, and we hope you enjoyed our tour.